got ourselves not too much variety of the boys, but they are trying new stuff. Arcane's dog is that arcane again trying. I think it's a Necrolord Arcane. Am I wrong on that one? Probably am. Cries bad as a um, one more Destro. Down <laughs> red keeper. <laughs> as a fury warrior, Necrolord Miller Pala and Spart back on the Arcane. Are we trying new legendaries? Are we trying new honor towns with Athaman? Athaman going up first. On Athaman's team again, we have ourselves M6. We got ourselves Chrissy as a boomy this time. Chris God as a uh, rat. Chicago is more of that enhancement. Does Chicago, do you want to try that elemental with a new auto talent? With a new totem? Does that thing even work? It's up to you if you want to try it. Hashtag numbers, boys, for that 13 months, fam. That's somebody that definitely changes the name on YouTube. Because <laughs> I don't think I do remember Nimbus, but that's probably Arcanite. What does just happen? Uh, I think this is where Miller Paladin used to walk up and be like, stop giving away our, sec our secrets. These Paladins, dude. Blizzard. Are you looking at this? Blizzard. I looked away for a second and Spark just blew up. Super Mario Paladin probably should have got dunked on. Dude, Paladins are just on a whole. Paladins just build differently, dude. I guess they just build differently. You know what I mean? Maybe I, I just don't understand myself anymore, dude. I just got to hit the gym because these boys are swole. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. They nerfed one of their honor towns, dude. But damn, dude. What was that? I thought this is where Miller Pal probably should have went up and be like, stop giving out a secret, dude. Because these pallies, dude, they know. They know that there's something busted about M91. They're just not telling anybody, dude. But we're discovering the secrets in this arena by itself. <laughs> it's been a ruse. And we're not actually dueling to see auto towns. We're dueling to give Blizzard info on what you should know about pallas. That's all it is. 100%. 100 p. Has been actually doing big damage to the Miller Pala. Oh, not going down just yet. Shield of Vengeance up and running. Does have some battle master streak by the looks of it. Unless he's just going for the on use. Has been did have some barred health there. No more bubble available. Blastic protection might have to come out. Try not to get interrupted. That's going to be Miller Pala actually did get juked on. Oh, big Shield of Vengeance to the Miller Pala. Oh, got blown up. My God. Sheesh. Yeah, for real. Sheesh, dude. So now Athaman is no longer super behind on defensive cooldowns. That's gonna hodge him a little It's gonna be tricky. Athaman does get hit with a wreck himself. Does get wrecked on, dude. Oh no. Amps is gonna be up next. Hodge. As the storm bolt comes out, might be able to make something happen. No more bubble available for Miller Pallet. Does have basic protection. Is gonna get hit with a disarm. Gonna be a charge for M6. Needs to get himself a big old rampage as Miller Pallet tried to get for a heal. That is gonna be the gnome. Rachel comes out to remove the slow. Does have an early, very, very early uh, reflect available. So Miller Pallet will be able to hodge next time. Does fear down Miller Pallet to at least catch up to him. Just to make sure he has a slow one to Miller Pallet. Just to make sure he has Sam Strong or something. Just to make sure you can stay on him the whole time. Miller Pallet is kind of low on low health. Might be a shield of... That's going to be shield of vengeance. Might be a blessing of protection in the future. M6 better be very, very careful. Does have the torment of King's Legendary. So it's going to be free blaze storm as he goes in for a rack. Going to be wings available for Miller Pallet. Probably proc wings for all we know. Reflect available for M6 in case a hodge comes out. But Miller Pallet is going to delay it by a hair. Wait not until for a better opportunity. M6 down on defensive for the time being. So I don't really know if Miller Pallet is going to have a hard time here. A rack from just a mile away doesn't even touch... The poor gnome. I guess to slam him down either way. Kiss got up next, dude. Good thing we got all these pallets to counter paladins. You know what I mean? Palabas fast now. I feel like they've been like this since before 9-1. It's just a 9-1 that haven't been touched. Nerfed, really? Have they? Wait, hold on. Have palas got nerfed in 9-1? Technically, there is one on a town that got nerfed from like 200% weapon damage to... No, from 250 to 200. So 50% weapon damage lost there. But arms and red is still OP, specs and PvP. Yeah, unless they do some crazy stuff, it's not gonna change Kids God with um with Miller Pal not having any blessing or protection or bubble. Not much you can really do in that situation. Does go down to another paladin. Yeah, unless and they complain about mobility. You know what? I think paladins would like to lose damage but gain more mobility. I think majority of paladins that I've talked to, at least in my community would like to do less damage maybe more sustained damage less big birds damage but if they had more mobility they would be happier because paladins have been i think historically pretty immobile class except for like a patch or two 
I could be wrong on that one, but their damage is definitely ludicrous. It is pretty nutty. Arcane going up next is playing the normal shield Lego. Trying to see if he can make a big current setup with a catasphere. Could be big damage here potentially. What's this kiss got? Does he get to blow him up? Big damage shield Avengers does come in. Touch of the magic, shoot slab down, does take care of the shield Avengers. Looks like the shield absorbed a lot of the damage that came out, really. And Arcane just trying to see if he might be able to get free damage to the Kiss God. Does he have the interrupt? He does have interrupt. He wants to. Kiss God needs to get himself some holy power just to get the Word of Glories back to back. Arcane does pour it away. Unless it was an all time the whole time. Try to get some Arcane Blast of the Kiss God as well. Just blast him from a distance. Oh, Arcane Blast actually got buffed in damage, did they not? They did. Arcane Blast should do more damage now. So you might be right, Seawax. Necrolord Mage Arcane might actually be not a terrible option for PvP. Like, it's not easy, but it not, might not be completely trolling either. Because you're just blasting. And the blast will cleave. And it'll just do more damage. Like, it'll just actually be pretty good. Because this guy does get hit with a touch of magic. Another Catasphere, maybe with a Barrage. Barrage or Catasphere? Oh! Wait, he actually almost got one shot. He actually almost got one shot just now. That was nutty. That was with a full burst and everything. That was full burst and everything. Arcane power, touch of the uh, touch of the magi, rune of power. That was awesome. It's gonna be pretty temporal. Is it gonna be able to recover any health? Touch of the magi is getting set up. Does he have a big go? Full setup, maybe? Big blast available for Arcane his dog. Does get those blasts in. Shield Avenger is gonna get burnt through touch of the magi, probably go to big damage. Missiles flying right after. Kiss got us kind of low on health. If only you could have a find a way to knock him back. Door of Shadows trying to see if he can interrupt him. There goes the barrage. Did make it out of the alive somehow. It did do it. Chicago is going to be up next. Earth Elemental up immediately. So that's going to be basically a healer here. Seawark does not like fighting against healers. Pally, not the, not the easiest one. Phaedra's Fusion getting used by Chicago pretty aggressively. Does not get interrupted, but does force Arcanus dog out of there. Try to see if he can go for ports. Try to hit him with a Sundering. Going to be a Pally. Does have a Trinket for it. Decides to get aggressive with a Trinket. Does have the Fey heal as well. So for Seawark, it's going to be a little bit tough to get away from the wolves. That's going to do a bit of damn. Is he, is he playing the wolf build with this one? I think he's still wolf build, isn't he? No, he is not. He's playing something different. Is he Ascendance? He's not Ascendance. He is two minute wolves. So he has to be playing the Earth Blast. He's not playing the Earthquake build. So what build is Chicago playing actually? What are you, what are you trying out? Because I don't think shamans have their common legendaries done yet. Do they? He's just getting some easy, some random damage on an arcane. Gonna be Arcanosphere. Does he have a big barrage to set up with it? Maybe trying to? Missiles to follow. Does get a knockback. Gonna be a wall available for Chicago. Does get an interrupt onto the arcane damage. Taking still a bit of damage. Even throw through the wall. Trying to purge Arcane's dog as many buffs as he can. He's gonna be stunned to him one side. Sundering missing by a hair. Root onto Chicago. Trying to get himself a bit of a cast. Does get juked on interrupt. Ground into him does come in as well. Maybe ground into actually the interrupt. That's going to be some freebie missiles for Arcane. Does have Arcane power very, very soon. So he actually could maybe make a really big go here. If he can go for the biggest blast ever, he actually could make something happen. Trying to go for a poly on Chicago. Does he go for the big go? Is the boy going to do it? He might need a full polymer to make it happen. So I don't know if he could do it here. Trying to go for touch of the magic. Blasting. So it looks like the blaster is coming out, man. Trying to go for the big blast. Oh, I'm trying to swap. I cannot. I can't swap to Chicago at all. What is Chicago? I was going all across my keyboard, dude, like an octopus. So he is playing Earthen Spike, actually. Interesting. Arcana Sphere from around the corner of Chicago is rooted. Actually, trying to see if he can pour it away. Does run into it. Takes a bit of damage. Missile still flying. I do like how you can turn it, though. So you can't rotate it. <laughs> Interesting. So far, the Arcane Mage is hanging in, though. Actually able to hang in. Is there potential for RK mages and for mages in general to not have to play the uh, the shield legendary? Maybe not for duels or maybe not for like arenas, but maybe in duels they might be able to. Poly onto Chicago. Does he get a setup? Touch of the Magi? Arcane power? No, he does go for the missiles. He's not going for the big go just yet. But actually, a big barrage. So Chicago does have a wall for this, trying to heal through it as much as he can. It's going to be all that's going to be grounding totem. And looks like the. Mirrors are not gonna go through just yet. Does get silenced. Arcana Sphere behind the pillar cannot really stop it. Does juke at the last second. Does go for the Night Fae. Gonna be those missiles flying. Maybe has a big barrage ready. Is gonna be more missiles. Try to set it up. Does take him out actually. Was that a big arcane blast at the end? Interesting. Chrissy gonna be up next, dude. That Arcana Sphere though. That is so cool. Looks like Chrissy is gonna give him the full honor duel. 
Now, for Arcane's dog, I don't know if he's going to be able to land a big burst like he can. Chrissy can't really interrupt it that much. I mean, he can't interrupt it. He has a silence every minute. He does have roar if he gets a melee. He could bash it, but I think Arcane's dog, it would be really difficult for him to really get the big setup with the... Um, to get a really big setup with uh the full burst that he needs to do dora shadow trying to see if he can cc chrissy but looks like the boomy is gonna go for full damage and if the boomy chrissy is if he's gonna go for that uh what is that uh what's that one on a talent they got that could give you instant cast cyclones is he gonna play that because there is melee on the other team there is dalaran gamer in there dude how is dalaran spectating this duel also playing the game how does that happen? Chrissy tried to see if he can find him with the Typhoon. Looks like Arcane is going to bail out of there for a moment. Chrissy going to pick up the eyes. Barkson has been used. Should be able to see Arcane somewhere in the in the arena. Maybe hanging around the corner. Should be able to see him. Doesn't want to run into it, but it looks good. Arcanosphere getting set up. As Chrissy getting closer. Is he still going to launch it? Does it go that far? Oh, it goes a distance. It goes a distance. It went pretty far from the room to like here. <laughs> That was actually pretty good. Because he does hop in the stealth for a second. Does want to get the opener onto Arcane. While the images are available. Mirza Torment is going to come out. Trying to go for a bit of a touch of the magic. Blinken next to Christy though. I don't know if that's a good idea. Could get bashed up. All the time is available. Try to blast at Christy though. Try to go for a bit of a heal. Not get interrupted. Going to be more missiles flying. Oh, that barrage ends him. Well done. Well done. RK Mage blasting, man. That doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Wow. Let's go yet again, boys. Let's go again. Yo, yeah, we'll see what do you want to try fire with the new Ana towns? I think that mastery burning thing would be really cool. Oh, if you want to go Necrolord.